Hello everybody and welcome to the Merwin Music YouTube channel. In this video I'm going to build a switch to connect these speakers to this amplifier. And this one. So maybe you have seen one of these little boxes that you can use to hook up an amplifier to multiple speakers, but I actually need the opposite of this. So I'm going to build a switch so that I can hook up two amplifiers to one set of speakers. Now what I need for this is a four pole double throw switch. This means that there are four connectors that can switch between two posts. So we have positive and negative wires for two speakers or four wires, and we will hook up the speakers to this middle row. And then depending on which way the switch is toggled, it will connect that middle row to either the top or bottom or the first or second amplifier. Now the only critical thing for this to work is this switch. So I could just hook up my speaker wire directly to this switch and use long enough lengths to get to the speakers and amps. And if I wanted, I could mount the switch in a plastic or wooden project box, but I'm gonna go the extra mile and build a box and use these speaker connectors on the back for a nicer finished product. To make the box, I'm gonna use this scrap of mahogany and I'm going to cut it down to about a half of an inch thick. And then I'm gonna cut some pieces to make a four and a half inch cube. So first I rough cut out the pieces and then I cut and cleaned out a rabbit on one side to hold the back panel. Then I cut miters on the end and used a stop block to get four pieces that are all the same length. Then I could lay out the pieces and use some painter's tape to keep them together and then fold up the box and wait for it to dry. For the front panel, I'm going to use this eighth inch thick piece of aluminum. So I'll cut out a piece a little oversized for the front of the box and then I can mark the center and use a step bit to drill out a hole for the switch, checking periodically to make sure I have the right size hole. Once that is done, I can use these letter punches to label the switch positions. So I made sure to measure twice and then use the stamps to spell out input one and input two, at which point I used some black spray paint to paint in the letters. Once that was dry, I sanded the back of the panel with 220 grit paper to make sure that the glue would adhere right and I also sanded the front face of the box, and then I used some five minute epoxy to glue the two pieces together. While that was drying, I could solder up the switch and speaker connectors. Now I used some 12 gauge speaker wire to attach everything together. The wiring is pretty straightforward, you just have to keep track of everything and strip a bunch of wire. I cut down some hard board from an old picture frame to use as the back panel. It doesn't matter what you use here as long as it isn't conductive. Since the entire post of the speaker connector is conductive, if you screwed all of these down to a piece of metal, it would short everything out. You can see here I have the whole guts all assembled, and I just used a sharpie to label the back panel so I know where to connect my wires. One thing to note is that when the lever is down on the switch, it will actually connect the middle row to the top, and when the switch is up, it will connect to the bottom. So we just have to flip our labels around accordingly. Now that the box is dry, we can sand the face and get a really nice brushed aluminum look. I'll have a separate video going into the specifics of that process, but basically we just want to sand in straight lines till we clean up the whole face of the box. At that point, I sanded everything up to 320 grit and then finished the wood with linseed oil and paste wax. Then I could assemble everything and the trickiest part is tightening down the nut on the switch without scratching the front of the box. Then I could drill two small holes and put some screws in to hold the back panel on and all that was left was to hook it up to the stereo. Now it's hard to show everything hooked up since it kind of just looks like wire spaghetti so you just have to take my word that everything is connected. Now the purpose of this box is so that I can have my music hi-fi, which is this tower here, connected to the same set of speakers as my TV and surround speakers. So if I want to listen to a record or the radio or a cassette tape, then I flip to input one, but if I want to watch TV or a movie, then I can flip this switch to input two. Now, it's always fun coming up with your own solutions to problems, and this box does exactly that. If you have any questions about this project, make sure to check out the build article on my website that will go into further detail, and I will try and update that article with answers to commonly asked questions. Otherwise, you can leave one in the comments below. If you like this project and this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Otherwise, thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.